One note on this Commodore Plus 4 will send you to a faraway land. <laughs> everyone, so it's Typhoon Hagibis Day, um, the typhoon that's getting ready to hit Japan, so we will spend all day in, at Hotel Wing International. Hey. We just got <laughs> Squeak Doos here, she's a little bummed that Fuji Q Highland is closed today, and Sanrio Pureland, the Hello Kitty theme park, is closed tomorrow because of this stupid thing. We're just hoping and praying we can get our Shinkansen on Monday to go to Osaka. Because our plane's flying out of Osaka. Yeah. And we have Universal ticks for that day. But um, this is the breakfast area at Hotel Wing International. They have a really weird mixture. It's Asian and Western breakfast and yeah. dinner foods. You can get rice and curry, bean curd. The bean curd was really good. The tofu, deep fried tofu. Um... Uh, they have pastries, cereal, some scrambled eggs, soft boiled eggs, so you crack it and it's actually filled with like yolk and stuff, so you'll want to be careful of that, but it's a pretty good breakfast. We kind of ate up a lot because we aren't going out at all today because of Typhoon Hagibis. Yeah, we don't want to get stranded, you know, yeah, we... in a storm. Yeah, no, so, um... Yeah, I know. Like, you see people, um, the, when we woke up at, like, 7.30, the trains were running, but I think by, like, noon, they aren't going to do... Oh, my God. Fuji Q Highland and a coupon for it. <sighs> Squeak do. Yeah, we... We'll have to see tomorrow. The It should be sunny tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll have better rail service. Yeah. And maybe tomorrow we'll be able to, like, at least find somewhere in Tokyo where we can at least kind of see Mount Fuji. I've been to Japan before, and I had a hell of a time seeing Mount Fuji from Tokyo. People say you can do it. I've never been able to, but, um... You know, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm gonna take you. Just, you know, I can't go to the park. I can at least take the thing. Yeah. And, um... Go Voyage and said they were going to like offer me refunds and stuff on that, so that's good. And Highway Express Bus is offering a refund. We booked a bus this morning to go to Fuji Q, but um, yeah, they're oh, they yeah, uh, they got a little Happy Halloween banner, and this is the lobby. The and we're gonna vlog the Halloween display up front. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, we got a nice little Instagram selfie. This is a really nice lobby, you know? It, of course, this hotel isn't going to, like, rival Disney quality, but it's it, it does the job for what you need. I am loving the, like, little tinkly music in the background. That's a really nice touch, too. Um, they have this elevator. It only goes to the first floor, which is street level, and then the third floor, which is this lobby area. Walking around, walking the around the hallways of our room, yeah. And uh, other Japan things. So um, we were talking about refunds. I bought the Japan Experience SIM cards. I bought two of them. And they have a list on, of devices. You need to make sure your phone is on in, um, that list of devices if you're going to buy that. Um, Squeak Doo's device, the iPhone, is, and she's having good luck with it. It's working good. It's a good product. But my phone wasn't listed, and I guess I kind of thought, oh, well, that might just mean they haven't tested it. And so I try it. doesn't work. Um, I use a Samsung Galaxy J3. And... Um, they were all like, I emailed the Japan Experience. The guy literally yelled at me. Um, uh, typing in all caps is okay. akin to yelling. yelling. Yeah, typing in all caps is tantamount to yelling. And he practically yelled at me saying it was your responsibility to do this beforehand. 
Okay, I know, I'll take the hit on it. There is a right way and a wrong way to say that, so don't use the Japan Experience SIM cards. They're good products, they work, and it's a fabulous price. But if you need the customer service, you, you might as well just bend over and, um, <laughs> uh, you know, bend over and let the chainsaw camel hop on you back, and then you lift up with the chainsaw camel. Hashtag chainsaw camel. So yeah, we're gonna just head on up to the room and maybe sleep a little more and a very boring day. If something interesting happens today, I'll record it, but this is Typhoon Hagibi Stay. We are not going outside. Um, do we, can I see a little bit of rain? It's rain. Construction workers are still doing their thing out there, but um... <coughs> Yeah, tough boys. Yeah. It's not like... Oh, yeah. Actually, those are some heavy rains. Like, it's a downpour. Tokyo Mystery Circus is looking pretty closed. I don't think they opened till 4. Right, yeah, this is pretty... Yeah, we need to try that, too. The Tokyo Mystery Circus. Like, yeah, you can't have a hotel next to something called Tokyo Mystery Circus. So, yeah, we're gonna head on up, sleep, and just chill, man. You got vending machines, all sorts of fun stuff to buy in a Japanese vending machine. Uh, cigarettes, That's cigarettes. You never see in America. They're a little more expensive here. I've been noticing at like convenience shops, a pack of cigarettes is a good deal um, cheaper. Asahi beer. Um, you can never go wrong with uh, that. And. Charging station. Yeah. Nice little uh, charging station there. So, yeah. And then you head through here. I mean, the hallways look like this. It's a nice hotel. A little stuck in the 70s. So, yeah. Um, I guess, I don't know. Tokyo Ginza. Um, I don't think we're near Ginza. But, um, yeah, you can do massages. Hotel Wing International. I do think this elevator maybe smells a little bit in the elevator, like the, there's like a moldy smell to the elevator, so that's not good, but uh, Fuji Q. Either way, this is our Typhoon Hagibi stay. Probably not going to see a whole lot from us. It's like in Harvest Moon when the typhoon hits and oh, it's just, yeah. you don't do anything. I you, guess you... that's where they got the inspiration for that part. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. You just lose the day, man. So, yeah, we're going to head back to our room. We got another vending machine here if we want some Mountain Dew or Sting. You want Sting? <laughs> and Craft Boss. That's your craft boss right there. And then the premium boss. Oh my god, look at all those bosses. So many bosses. Alright, so we're gonna head into our room, chill out. Yeah, this is a more Pepsi hotel, so that's kind of boo. But yeah. We bought Cokes. We bought Cokes, yeah. We bought Cokes and bottled water, just in case there's service interruptions. We have some snacks for lunch. We filled up on breakfast, so... Yeah, we should be good to go. Alrighty, everyone. Still, um, Typhoon Hagibis, um, going around. Old Typhoon Heebie-Jeebies. A lot of the news websites that I looked at today said the trains would stop running at noon, but it's about 1.30 or something, and trains are still going pretty strong. You can see there's one, uh, in distance there. And... Hardly nobody on the streets, though. Saw a couple guys walking. There are people in the Tokyo Mystery Circus. Um, but, yeah, still doing the indoor resort day at a very small a 70s uh, love motel, you know? But, um, we're eating some Japanese snacks at the moment that we bought last night. Have and we got some Chip Star. Some Chip what Star? Kind of like Regular, regular Pringles, Pringles. yeah. Like it comes in the kind of standard Pringles container, then comes in a little foil thing. I have a few left here. You see? Like, it tastes exactly how it looks. 
Then we got some pret salad yeah, flavor. Yeah, kind of like hockey, but not sweet at all. But not good. <laughs> um, and it's salad flavor. It, 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 it's disgusting. I thought it was pretty good. It, it's disgusting, and it's supposed to. Squeak Dude didn't do this correctly, but um, it's supposed to like open up like yeah, a tissue box. Yeah, it's supposed box. to come out of here. I'm like, that, I could just mm, get it out of here just as easily. Do it, do it America style, you know? And we have strawberry Kit Kats. Those um, are so good. Yeah, those are really good. They're in the, uh, they look, well, exactly like that. And they taste real good. So, yeah, we're here having indoor fun times. The hotel does have YouTube access, so we're watching some Tim Tracker, you know, vlogger goals. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, if anything interesting happens with this stupid typhoon, I'll let you know. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah, we're making the most of it. We brought um, breakfast bars and Nature Valley bars from home, uh, and just in case something stupid would happen, and something stupid did happen, so we'll eat our Japanese snacks for lunchies, and probably have those for dinner a little bit later on tonight. But, eh. Typhoon party, ooh, it, well, it's what everyone, never go to Japan in October. You would miss all of the Halloween things, but also you would miss typhoons. Yeah. It's, I never but thought it. Isn't summer also kind of terrible because it's so hot? It's hot, but it's dry. Like, we're from Cincinnati, we know what hot is. Yeah. Like, it, Japan's summer never gets hotter than Cincinnati. So, like, if we can do Spirit Song at King's Island in the middle of summer, we can do Japan in summer. Yeah. Yeah. So if we decide to come back to Japan, summertime, when, like, it never, ever rains. But this, this is, ugh. But yeah, we're making the most of it, chilling with some Tim Tracker here. Alrighty, everyone, we're continuing our indoor typhoon oh hagibi stay. It's pretty much going from like, oh, I guess it's a little rain, to we're gonna die. We... Like, those are the two moods. Like, the bed was literally just shaking a bit. It was? That was scary? And, like, Jordan was sat there in the chair, and I'm like, okay, is he rubbing his knee against it? Because he tends yeah, to shake yeah. his legs a lot. Yeah, no, and I wasn't, and I felt the shaking too, and I'm like, oh god, is there an earthquake on top of this? And I'm like, we're wondering... We're from Cincinnati, we don't know what to do about an earthquake. We don't, we don't, yeah, I mean, we get occasional earthquakes in Ohio, but it's like, just a little bit of shaking, and it's like, oh, I guess our idiot neighbors have a car stereo. Literally, in our neighborhood, you can't tell a car stereo from, like, legitimate earthquake shaking. <laughs> So yeah, this was scary, and like, you feel the hotel room sway, and we've got winds, but like, I looked at the forecast right now, and they're saying it's only like 10 mile an hour winds. It is raining quite a bit right now, and we're on the 8th floor. I don't want to go to a lower floor when no. it's raining quite a bit in a typhoon, you know, they say you want to be kind of up high to, you know, get away yeah. from the flooding, but also you don't want to be up high in the event of shaking, so I don't really know the, what to do. It seems to have stopped, though, so. Like, yeah. It's like somewhere between, oh, this is just a boring day and tomorrow will be better, and the actual apocalypse. And like, oh my god, we could seriously die. Like, that, that's that been the mood between, uh, this is so boring, I'm not getting any physical activity, our dinner was just a couple of um, protein and nature bars, but, I mean, we didn't really... We didn't really do anything to require a no, heavy dinner. Just we snapping ate, in YouTube. Just snapping in YouTube. We got the lovely um, Boston White on right now. But, um, <laughs> sweet to you, we've got a fun little dessert at the Family yeah, Mart. I got it because it's Hello Kitty. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It might be some kind of lollipop. Yeah, and maybe a toy inside. So, you know, we gotta have a little sweetness in our day of insanity. Very cute. <laughs> it 
squeak doos open in the thing. And it's a toy. Aww. A little Hello Kitty toy She's there. She's in her slippers. Oh, in her little bunny slippers. She's having an in typhoon day as well. Yeah, you you got us there, Hello Kitty. <laughs> and it looks like this is a strawberry lollipop. Yeah, okay. Strawberry. Aren't the things exciting? My phone's going off. Hopefully that's mm. not saying um, oh everyone needs to be out of Tokyo right now. I don't even know how that would happen. I don't know either. This is a very scary situation to be in, kids, when you're a, a foreigner in an area of a natural disaster. <laughs> but how's that lollipop taste? It's good. Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry and no anxiety in it. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what good advice to give travelers. I mean, you don't really want Typhoon Day to be exciting. Yeah, you don't, you don't want Typhoon Day to be exciting, so God has blessed us there, certainly. Um, you know, in flooding, go to higher ground. That's always a good situation. Um, download, um... The J Alerts, um, NHK News app has an English version. You definitely want to download it. Check the weather every day because we didn't actually know this was coming. Mom at the Celebration Hotel at the buffet was talking to another company, a couple, um, ironically, from Cincinnati. Um, yeah. And they brought it up to her. I had no idea this was coming. So, yeah. And... I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is a rough situation, and it's not a good situation to be in when you're foreign, you're in a country where you don't speak or even really read the language. I can read hiragana and katakana, but a lot of signs for, like, locations and stuff is in kanji, which I really struggle with, so... I'm not only am I completely... I can't speak... I'm essentially illiterate in this country, so that's not a good situation to be in at all. Um, yeah, the best you can do, though, is I would say don't gamble, though. Like, you know, if you think, hey, if I go out in this, will I be able to make it back? Um, if you have to ask that question, you really should stay in. I know, it's stupid, it sucks that we wasted one of our days in Tokyo, um, it's but... It's better to be safe, though. It is, like, because... The, and the Yamanote trains, um, they did stop running at about 2.30. I mean, it looks fine. The traffic is still moving, and the streets are not flooded, and people are milling about, but the trains did stop running, so... I mean, and I don't, and we, thank God we have had power and running water all day at the hotel. So, yeah, it's a really not good situation to be in. It, it's horrifying. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm the expert traveler and, and well, all of my trips are 100% awesome. No, this is, if you're frustrated, you know, it's okay to show frustration and to let people know you're scared. You don't have to be a superhero, but, um, so hopefully I won't have any other news for old Typhoon Hagibis. Um, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. <laughs> And I'm Selena Rolfus. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny, I usually don't let Squeak Do sign off, but I wait for the sucker to be in the mouth for um, <laughs> sign off time. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know you're the best subscribers of any YouTuber in the entire world. And, um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this mess blows away. I'll have some really good Tokyo adventures for you guys tomorrow, but... In the meanwhile, and it'll this will be almost impossible to see from with the light on, but as you can see, today was a complete washout, but not a complete flood. Nah, it's cool. Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. You all know you're the best, and um, yeah, just I don't even know, man. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. Uh, stone-cold hero when 
you travel, you know, like, I don't know what my point is, but I'm rambling. Bye!